They were one of the coolest products I had ever seen in the Flow Arts world when they first came out, and now there's a new version of them. Drex here from DrexFactor.com coming at you with a brand new review for the large as well as new quilted safety blankets from Mayday Atlanta. Let's see how they stack up. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultrapoy for helping to make videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. And a very special welcome to Pyroterra Light Toys. Thank you for joining the friends of the channel and for supporting the work that I do. So I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. The first generation of the Made in Atlanta fire blankets that I used is one of my favorite products that I have ever come across in the flow arts world. It solved a lot of problems in that one of those really frequent questions that I got from first time spinners was, how do I get a proper fire blanket to put everything out? We've used Duvetine as kind of our default for many, many years now, and while it has its advantages, it also has a lot of drawbacks. Duvetines can't be washed because the chemical that they're treated with will be washed out and they'll lose their fire resistance. And unfortunately, just over time, they tend to get more dirty and disgusting. The other problem there, of course, too, is that they wear down over time and they get thinner and less effective at putting out props. So basically they have a limited lifespan and they've been a mainstay for a long time but that doesn't mean that they're a great solution to that problem. The Mayday blankets on the other hand are made out of aramid fibers which means that they are super duper resistant both to any kind of wear and tear as well as the fact that they're naturally fire resistant so you can wash them and not worry about it. The Mayday blankets also have this awesome reflective layer around the edge that uh, it's actually the same material that they use in firefighters uniforms and part of what makes that so awesome is it makes them stand out clear as day when you're inside the fire circle when very frequently uh, duvetines tend to just disappear into the background. And finally, as you can see, the company will also custom embroider your name onto your safety blanket. So even if you're at an event where there are multiple people using these Made in Atlanta safety blankets, um, you can still tell yours apart from the crowd, which is great because I can't tell you the number of times I've gone to a fire jam or an event or what have you, and your duvetines get mixed up with everybody else's and nobody knows which belongs to who. So you wind up walking off with a weird grab bag of stuff. Okay, so these are all the things that I have always loved about the Made in Atlanta fire blankets. So what is new in the products that they're just releasing? So first up is that in addition to the blankets that we all know and love, they also are offering them now in a larger size, which is awesome because one of the few problems that I had with the previous generation of these blankets was that they were too small. That is, you would have a difficult time putting out props like fans or dragon staffs with them. But the new larger size is a lot better for taking that on. They're now available in uh, 40 by 45 inches, which is about 66% larger than the regular size version that I tested last time around. In addition, they also now offer these quilted uh, double layered variations on the blankets too, both in the regular and the large size. Um, these are really helpful for dealing with props that may be unusually difficult to put out or that you get a lot of heat transfer through. So I decided to take these out for a round of testing with some friends spinning fire last night and I wanted to show you what we found. So first up, the larger size is great for dealing with larger props, but it also is one of those things that it leaves you so much extra room when dealing with smaller props that it feels a lot more comfortable to put them out. I'll also say that working with the quilted blanket was really incredible because the amount of heat transfer that goes through it is almost nil. Like, I was putting out some pretty large props with it and I couldn't feel much of any heat transfer through it at all. Okay, so we know that the first generation of these blankets was awesome and the second generation seems to be holding up pretty well too. But I wanted to give these blankets the most punishing test that I had available at my fingertips. So I'm gonna take you to show you that right now. Cool, so uh, I'm here with my friend Carly. Hi Carly. Hi. Um, so last time I reviewed a Mayday blanket, uh, it was with a set of fire snakes, which unfortunately I no longer have access to those snakes. But Carly here has a whole fire jump rope, which for the past few years in uh, Conclave, this has been the bane of our existence for putting out a fire prop. So I can think of no bigger challenge for the new quilted blanket than to stack it up against this. So let's see how it turns out. You ready, Carly? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. And lighting you up. Give it a whirl. Let's see if we can put it out. 
You ready for this? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Survey says, yeah! <laughs> awesome! Very nice. Very nice. Yes, look that at that. That thing like was I know. no thing at all. Seriously, I saw it go up right away. Yeah. Cool! That's awesome! Um, I really, really wish we'd had one of those a couple years ago on Playa. Okay, so let's talk three things that I loved and three things that I think could use improvement on these. Um, first up, the quilted version, the double layered one, is a massive improvement. Not just because it clearly takes props that we used to drive us crazy and puts them out without any problems, uh, but also because of the lack of heat transfer there. You know, it's one of those things that when I talk to people about putting out props and holding them for a few seconds and everything, the kind of elephant in the room is always that you want to make sure that you try and get the props out before enough heat transfer transfers through the blanket that it hurts your hands. And that wasn't a concern at all with the quilted blanket. Number two, and this is just true of all the blankets that uh, Made Atlantis put out, and that's that the washable aspect of them is fantastic. There, There's few things that I find more grody than digging down through a bunch of fire stuff that I've had in storage for the winter and finding just how disgusting the duvetines have gotten. Um, having the ability to wash these and not worry about it is amazing, um, as well as the fact that I don't feel bad after washing them about putting them in a bag full of like clothes or things like that because, you know, you can stink them up, you can get transfers of the soot and everything, and that's not a concern here. And number three, the large size is just fantastic for putting out bigger props. You know, everything that we had a tough time testing last time I did this review, you know, whether it be fans or a jump rope or what have you, you know, the bigger safety blanket just mowed on over like it wasn't no thing, and that's pretty awesome. Okay, so, I will confess at this point that I have only one thing that I wish these could improve on, and let's face it, that's the price. Um, starting at $60 for the regular sized one that is single layered and everything, it's more than we're used to paying for a duvetine. Um, and I will say that I think the price is totally worth it, but it is one of those things that acts as an obstacle towards the average spinner being able to get to it. That said, if you can afford them, good lord are they worth it. So, with that in mind, the regular size Mayday Atlanta blankets are $60 plus tax and shipping. The regular sized uh, double layer quilted ones are $85, once again, including tax and shipping. Uh, the new larger size single layer ones are also $85, again, with tax and shipping. And finally, the double layered large option is $125 plus tax and shipping. Uh, if you want to get a discount on your order, please use my code DREXFACTOR at check check out at MaydayAtlanta.com or MaydayATL.com and you'll be able to get a discount on your order and hopefully make it more easy to get these uh, safety blankets into your hands. Oh, and also if you want to get your name custom embroidered on any of these blankets, it's an additional $10. Cool. So, Mayday Atlanta blankets. One of my favorite products in the Flow Arts, and they've made what was already a really good product into an even better one. And I am, I, I'm, I'm very, very, very impressed with, uh, with, with the ways that they've grown there. Um, do you have a Made Atlanta blanket? Do you have a different option for a safety blanket? Um, what are the pros and cons for you? Let me know down in the comments. If you dug this video and would like to see more product reviews like it in the future, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well as ring the notification bell. Uh, this stuff does actually matter because YouTube changes its uh, suggestion algorithm all the time. The only way you can guarantee that you see my new videos when they get uploaded is if you ring that bell. So make sure to do that, yeah? And I also just want to give a big thank you to all of my wonderful supporters on Patreon because these are the people that make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. If you would like to sign up to become a supporter of my channel, please head on over to patreon.com slash and sign up. Thanks in advance.